after watching TGS 2021, they've just announced a returning monster for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Shogun Cyanotar. I personally like Crab Boy right here, even if he pisses me off, literally. But what's in it for us hunters after seeing Shogun Cyanotar in the trailer? As we all know, once we enter Master Rank, our high rank armor becomes obsolete. I've compiled 4 armors right here, and the defense stats is below 400, except for Valstrax, but that's a different story. I'm thinking, there's a possibility that they could add him in either Master Rank 1 or Master Rank 2, something similar to Generations Ultimate. If that's the case, I think this is good. We are left with two options right here. We could either grind for a Master Rank Alloy set just like in Iceborne, or we can get a good old trusty Shogun Cyanotar armor. It can be quite tricky to fight him. He is fast, he burrows underground, and its claw attacks can cause a bleeding effect. Also, the piss spray you just saw earlier. But I still think the struggle would be worth it. Historically, it has a good armor to carry you around in G-Rank. Here's what we have in Generations Ultimate. As you've noticed, we have a defense of 581. That's a huge leap from what we currently have in the base game of Rise. In terms of elemental resistance, you're almost balanced out. With the fire resist, you have 5, water resist 10, thunder resist negative 5, ice resist negative 5, and zero dragon resistance. So I think this is a fair game in terms of like starting out in G rank so you don't get destroyed right away. Again, this is what we have in Generations Ultimate and it could also happen in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. In terms of deco slots, we have a good room in here. Although in Monster Hunter Rise, you know, things have changed already in terms of how decoration works. So we may have like a bigger slot or maybe just more slots in general. Now let's talk about the possible armor skills that will carry us in-game. First, we have Crit Eye, and the second one, we have Razor Sharp. Of course, with Crit Eye, it wouldn't be plus 3. I'm assuming that would be maybe like 4 or 5, so there will be some changes in there. Razor Sharp is a good bonus, especially if you're using weapons that shed so much sharpness. Next, we have skills that have a slight chance of getting added into the armor set. We have Handicraft. This skill was given to the GX version of his armor in GU. And Speed Sharpening. Lastly, we have a skill that's less likely to be added, which is Attack Bonus. The armor in Freedom Unite had this skill, but then again, it's less likely to happen. In terms of the weapons, Shogun Cyanotar weapons are decent, they have long sharpness, but we might have other options early on in G-Rank. I think it's great to know that we have Shogun Cyanotar in-game. We might see his Apex version pretty soon, which opens more possible returning monsters in-game such as Gravios and Clavinus. So far, these are my assumptions as Capcom revealed Shogun Cyanotar. Let me know your thoughts. I'm quite curious, do you like these analysis type of videos? If so, I do plan on making more in the future, so consider subscribing if you want to see more. Till then, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.